say today on the beginning, my dear sheep, it is our flag, because today, this is fourth Sunday of Easter, I hope you remember each year we celebrate as a Good Shepherd Sunday. Jesus reminds us that he is Good Shepherd for each of us, and we are his sheep. In this difficult time, in special way, we have to remember that he is good shepherd, that he wants to take care of each of us and we have to be open, we have to try to hear his voice, we have to try to be really good sheep for our good shepherd. Brothers and sisters, on the beginning on this Eucharist, what you would like to Invite Jesus to our life in His grace, spiritual to invite Him of communion. Be now, look what happened last time, last week, and find what was not good. And tell to our Good Shepherd that sometimes you are not good. Ask for forgiveness this moment, forgiveness of our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, God Almighty God, God, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Heather, living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when he had said this, now when they had heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all thus far off, whoever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments, and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this constant corruption generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff to give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Behold, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and the guardian of our souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you lord. lord jesus said amen amen i say to you whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber but whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep the gatekeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice as a shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. 
but they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that all might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Brothers and sisters, or especially today, dear sheep, on this fourth Sunday of Easter, each year we celebrate Jesus the Good Shepherd. He cares for us individually as we hear in the responsorial song, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil for you are at my side. But Jesus not only guides us individually, he makes us members of his flock, the sheepfold described in today's gospel. Sheep have an instinct to stay close together. It is a good instinct because an outlier becomes easy prey for a wolf or some other predator. Being isolated in our homes has perhaps made us aware of the need for physical closeness. I'm not talking so much about hugs or shaking hands, but the importance of simply being together. This time we are doing the best we can with our virtual connection this is true we use technology we also pray build spiritual relationship it is good but brothers and sisters it not only goes so far we belong together jesus calls us his flock because like sheep we need to share physical space we are really sheep we are really close to our good shepherd if we are together probably you know books like bowling alone or alienated america those books show that many people have fallen into despair, not just because they lost a job, but because of the collapse of marriage, church, and civic life. Our happiness, our sense of purpose depend on having people who need us and who we can rely on. Like sheep, we don't do well living isolated. Here is the problem though. We belong together. We need each other, but we have a tendency to pull apart. You can see this in our current crisis. This is the first major epidemic where most people have computers, internet, and cell phones. This is virtual connect passport. These devices can connect people, but they can also allow us to live in a world of our making where we don't have to be bothered by other people, physically bothered. All of us have seen children wrapped up in their video games. 
we older people can also find things more entertaining than being with others. I worry that as this lockdown eases, many people will have fallen into routines where isolation becomes the new normal that could lead to further unraveling of marriage, family, church, and civic life. Some say that our current fast from the Eucharist will cause people to have deeper hunger. I hope so. But the fact is that our human nature has a downward pull. We follow the path of least resistance. You can see that even in matters of physical health, eating right, exercise, regular sleeping habits, etc., we know we should eat our veggies, we can prepare our own dinner, but instead it's so much easier to open a bag of Doritos or other box. About eating, about eating at home this time, probably some of you have heard some advices or stories related to staying at home. At first, the masks we most needed for use at home, we need to wear them often as possible at home to protect us from frequent eating and other after end of staying at home be like done then when the time to leave the house will come we will not be able to because the door will be too narrow for our body dimensions after lots of eating for sure this is like some sense of humor but we have to be a little bit afraid about that situation it means be good if we go like outside to walk, especially nice weather, and use some physical exercise. And brothers and sisters, the same happens in our spiritual life. As St. Paul says, what I do, I do not understand, for I do not do what I want, but I do what I hate. This is from Romans matter. What I said, try, try be active physically, especially like this time, like challenging us to go out and walk on the park or have a, many spaces in our area. I know some family, they do from our parish, but I know one family is like every day from our parish family walk about two or three hours each day, for sure the weather is okay. This is, this is a good idea, not only stay at home really physically, and in today's reading from Acts of the Apostles, the people ask Peter, what are we to do? The first thing he says is repent. I don't know exactly about you, but I need daily repentance. For me, the penitential rite is a necessary reminder what usually before go to bed, this is a good time to check what happened during our day and talk like privately to our good shepherd. So Peter says in this first reading, repent, a deeply social act that unites us with Jesus and with other members of his flock. Repent. Repent and renew our baptismal vows. Community requires effort from each of us. We human beings have ways of irritating each other, especially this time. It is easy to do it. People sometimes only think about themselves, and they sometimes talk only about themselves. They have strange moods and make demands spoken and unspoken. People say words that wound deeply. We know this. 
I'm sure that you have had this experience also. And we can see many times it is rough living with one person. Forming a family or a community is even more difficult. Community is always fragile. Our relationships weaken and even break. Ultimately, only God can heal us. Saint Peter speaks to us, for you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Brothers and sisters, we need Jesus. We need our good shepherd. We need Jesus' church. We need to gather like sheep in flock. The famous theologian Karl Rahner said that we must accept the burden of community if we are going to experience the freedom of the gospel. We cannot have Jesus as our shepherd without becoming members of his flock. I know we miss our church, our real relationship. I hope we will come back to full membership of Pentecost Feast, what we saw this information that possible church will be open for Pentecost Feast. And we will begin that time again as a new and stronger church, exactly like Jesus' church about 2,000 years ago. We need this renew our faith, this way, come back and be stronger in our relationship as a good sheep of our Good Shepherd. Brothers and sisters, while Jesus shepherds us individually, he calls us to be members of his sheepfold by baptism and by the renewal of baptism vows that we experience in confession and the Eucharist. This way, we can renew our faith. As we begin to move out of this time of isolation, we return to Jesus' basic program. Repent and renew our faith. Amen. May God bless you all, my dear sheep. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, who in all things were made for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Together, with one voice, we place our trust in our loving God and offer Him our prayers. For Pope Francis, may God bless him with continued health, vitality, and wisdom in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. 
for civic leaders. May Jesus' example of servant leadership assist them in their efforts in solving the most difficult challenges in their community. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those who harbor resentment or ill will towards others, may the Holy Spirit bring them consolation and lead them in reconciliation with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of believers, may God help us grow in being emissaries of comfort and peace to all those we encounter today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, the infirm, the lonely, and those who don't have anyone to pray for them today. We do remember those committed to our parish list of the sick. We also pray for all those, all of us who are affected by this corona pandemic virus. That we place our trust in Jesus and look to help one another and follow his lead as our shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead. In a special way, we remember Betty Downey, Ricky Rout, and the deceased members of the King family for whom we offer this Mass. That they and all our beloved dead may be welcomed safely home this day by Jesus the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for those prayers we hold within the silence of our minds and our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Father, your Son, our Good Shepherd, bids us to follow his voice. Hear the prayers we offer this day, and we ask this through Jesus Christ, who is Good Shepherd and our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially remember Betty Downey, Ricky Raup, and family and this is members of King family and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And be with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold. 
whole Elem of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter the my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and Ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before final blessing on this Good Shepherd Sunday, reminding to each other, to us too, that Jesus is Good Shepherd for each of us, first I would like to again say thank you for prayer. I have uh, lots of signals that we pray for each other, that we try to be in some contact, spiritual contact, virtual contact with each other. And especially pray for people who are sick, who have brothers and sisters who are sick. And also what I have uh, signaled that like more and more people join for this chain of prayer between three and four, prayer, like Ch Divine Mercy Chapel, Rosary, Latin, especially here is uh, month May, uh, what is dedicated month to Blessed Mother. And I can see more people in our place, in our Peace Garden, Grotto, because weather is good. Some days, some days for sure not good, but most of them better and better weather. But more people I can see meditating prayer. Uh, but reminds you that uh, in uh, Grotto you can find this small book, uh, Five Minutes Reflection, because I can see lots of them is in this, in this Grotto. Remember this. Again, thank you for being together, spirituality. Uh, I hope that what was announced is so this on the website. By the way, check permanently some information in our website and you can see this message, uh, what we recorded from each Sunday. And uh, check this information and I, I said what to remember. You check this, that now is decision bishops from our Ohio Diocese that churches are closed to May 29. And I only hope that Pentecost will celebrate with open church, exactly build new church, renew our church, renew our faith. Again, thank you for support too, because support finance is important and you do this permanently, what we stay uh, is like a good condition and uh, each week of the day I can receive some envelope and also in the office, in front of the office. Thank you, thank you so much. Is another help what people uh, give some finance help to people who are in need, more people and more each week. This is wonderful sign. We are together, we are ready to, to help. Thank you also for this. And just to receive this blessing, stay good to each other, family, and uh, use mask also outside, not only in the home, but especially in the home, you like to live uh, far from frequently eating. Receive blessing, 
stay good sheep as a good sheep and a good health and good spiritual and body condition. Special uh, greetings from, from our clergy, from, I can say our shepherds, you can uh, enjoy, you can enjoy, you can enjoy, that you will stay strong as a good sheep. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.